All right, Fishaholic fam, well, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm out here on the Fishaholic rig with my beautiful girl, Karina. Hi. Say what's up to the fam. And today uh, we're gonna kinda do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, meaning I've got some live shrimp on board. I also may catch, say, some like live greenies, live mullet, and fish around with them. And uh, to start, we're on this flat and we've got three dozen shrimp and I'm hoping that we can toss them around with some light tackle and it's the end of the incoming and maybe there'll be some bonefish actually cruising up on this flat. And if we can put a live shrimp in front of them, maybe they'll eat it. And then we'll also probably fish the beginning of the outgoing tide and then possibly go and see if we can catch some other kinds of bait if we can and if we can fish with it if not then maybe just use some artificials and see if we can get on some snook jack creval and uh, basically just stay in shore today we might also get on some snapper as well if uh, we fish here for a couple hours and can't get a single bite then we might just go and get some snapper so at least we can catch some lunch and also catch some dinner for later which uh, that sounds pretty good right babe yes. <laughs> all right cool oh, i like it yeah and uh, i think it should be an interesting day so we're gonna make it happen, stay tuned. Let's get the rods ready, get the bait on the hook, start casting them around, let's see if we can catch some fish. All right, folks, let's see if anything exciting will happen here. Ooh, that's a perfect size one for a bonefish. I'm gonna first start casting this shrimp out weightless and just let them drift with the current to see if we can get a bite that way. I'm starting off fishing with the seven foot dark matter green psychedelic spinning rod, which is medium fast action. And I have it paired with my Daiwa Ballistic MQ-4000C. And I'm using 10 pound green moss prowl pro braid tied direct to a 25 pound fluorocarbon leader because I just had it on there. And I wanted to go a little lighter in case the fish are finicky. So I added a tippet of like three feet of 15 pound fluoro to the end of the 25. Hmm. This current's still pretty strong. So I'm gonna put on a little split shot. Do you have a fish? Something took your bait? Ah, uh, it sounded like that drag was going out pretty quick. What? It's your turn. <laughs> you'll get over it. When he catches you a delicious snapper, you'll get over it. We got a good little little spot here. I think it's just a matter of time until we get in front of something decent. So the current's taking this right back there across this big flat. And I'd imagine there's gotta be something hungry I'm cruising around up here that'll eat a little shrimp. Also, if we're real lucky, we might even have a shot at a juvenile permit up on these flats here. Karina's hooked up. Oh no. What? The the last fish that we want, and that oh, is that a saltwater catfish. <laughs> For those of you guys that don't know, the best way to unhook them is to use a little de-hooker like that. You pull it up to the hook and then they just shake themselves off and then you don't get stuck by their spines because if you get stuck bad by their spines, you might end up going to the doctor. All right, just got eight, I think, by something. There he is. I don't know what it is. I think it might be another catfish. Yep, another, another catfish. Oh. All right, at least I'm not getting skunked, but I think we should 
move over a little bit. Try here. Oh, I just got ate by something here. There we go. Fish on. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe another catfish. Yep. Just another. Yeah, another catfish. All right, well, making the move didn't really help our case. Oh, getting some bites. Getting some bites. Oh, I got him. There he is. Hopefully it's not another catfish. It's definitely not a bonefish, just based on how it's fighting. But it's got some good weight to it, and uh, it's just another catfish that somehow I snagged in the belly with a circle hook. Let's try right here. This is very relaxing fishing, right? Close your eyes, just waiting for a nibble. Oh, that was a um, manta ray that just flew out of the water. Yeah. Oh, there's a fish. This is something a little different. What do we got? Whoa, look at that. A really big Mahara. Yeah, a little bit cooler than the catfish. And believe it or not, these guys are actually pretty good eating. So I might bleed them and throw them on ice. The tide is starting to turn. Maybe the slack tide will get something. We need a little bit of luck. That's, that's all we really need today for the bonefish. Oh, just got eight again, babe. I'm on. See you, bud. Huh. I swear I had a bite. And this might be a fish of some sort, but he's like stuck on the bottom. Ah broke it off oh look you got a, another mahara another good uh, keeper size that we'll get a couple a couple decent fillets from look at that beautiful right big snook love to eat these too but like half the size and smaller would be better all right i think we're gonna have a good lunch this afternoon Fish on right there. There's another fish. What do I got here? A little blue runner. All right, different species. So kind of cool. Good bait for offshore if we were going offshore. See ya. Oh, Karina's on. Oh, no way. A little bonefish. Just, no, keep the rod tip down. Keep the rod tip down. You got a bonefish. Oh, really? Yeah, you got one. Bring him in right here. Bring him in right here. Yeah, baby. 
All right, let's take the gloves off, wet our hands, and try and keep this fish in the water the best I can and get the hook out. Hey babe, can you go give me the scissors? Yeah. All right, babe, hold them tight. Nice. All right, put them back in there. The pictures were good? Yeah, the pictures were great. All right, now let's get this fish right back where we got him. Phew! <laughs> good work, babe. <laughs> Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So, uh, by the way, guys, uh, excuse my excitement. <laughs> I was just so happy that we actually got the targeted species for uh, the start to our day. And I've never caught one in this area, and I've just heard rumors, seen a couple pictures. So it was really cool to finally get one. And this is really my first attempt at trying for bonefish in this area. And uh, it's it kind of funny, putting such a small fish in such a big net, it was like I was netting a you know, 10 inch or 12 inch mullet, but it's still really cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice, it's a it was a beautiful fish. Beautiful. It was more beautiful than a mullet, right? Yeah. The next one though, maybe I'll use the the bait net if it's that small. <laughs> Scoop them up with the bait net. <clears throat> oh, you're on again. Killing it, girl. No way. That might be another bonefish. That's another bonefish. Just just keep keep the line tight. I'm pretty sure it's another bone. That was on a pretty big shrimp too. Yep. Just keep the line tight. I'll get the outrageously large net for, um, no way. It's a small permit. Dang, baby, you're doing really well today. It's a small permit. That is so cool. Good work. That is awesome. All right, you want to release them, babe? Just hold them tight. Give them a nice little head toss like that. <laughs> That's perfect. Okay, thank Good work. You. I'm proud of you. You're getting some nice fish. That's awesome. They're not big, but they do um, fight pretty good on the light tackle. And this blue rod that Karina is using is uh, the same rod that I'm using. It's just a seven foot dark matter psychedelic, but this is in blue. <clears throat> oh, there he is. There he is. That feels like something decent. This might be a bonefish. He's got it. He's got it. There he is. But he's not really pulling much. Hey, he's just coming right at us. Up. Oh, another Mahara. Oh, Karina is on. What do you got, babe? Bonefish? Is it another bonefish? Yo, it's another bonefish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> babe, you're slaying them. This is a much bigger one. Yeah, that's good. You don't have to reel anymore. I can't believe you, you're just like crushing these bones and you're getting the permit. Like. Pretty awesome right there. Oh, he, he dodged the net. There we go. Good work, baby. Oh, thank you. I'm so proud of you. All right, guys. Well, at least one of us is getting the job done today. Got the hook out. Yeah, I'm hooked right on the nose. Sweet. All right, put him back right in the net. Let's get this pretty little bonefish back. There he goes. All right, guys, so 
Karina is uh, being nice enough to let me use her setup. Well, really my setup, but the setup that I lent her to use. And I just want to show you the, the different, the slight difference in the rigging that I've been fishing with and that she's been fishing with. And, you know, same thing, 25 pound fluoro leader with a 15 pound fluoro tippet. And she just has a little split shot like this right there above the uh, knot, the uni to uni knot that connects the 25 pound fluoro to the 15 pound fluoro. And I was fishing like that, but I did snag the bottom and it broke off. And it just so happened that that was my last split shot that I had. So I switched to this little egg sinker and I really didn't think it would make that big of a difference, but it definitely seems like it is. So Karina is going to use the green rod. I'm going to use the blue rod for the next little bit of time and see if I can get a bonefish or a permit. Also, for most of the time that we've been out here, we've been hooking these shrimp in the tail, just like through the tail like that and out the top. But for that last bonefish, I hooked it in the horn just like that. All right, hopefully it's my time. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Thank you. <laughs> oh, just got hit by something decent. There he is. Fish on. Watch it be a catfish. Yep, it's a catfish. Oh <laughs> Oh, the fish gods aren't helping me out today. All right, let's go again. So we're both getting really hungry right now, so I think it is time to grab our maharas and cut them up for lunch. You did get the bigger one. Damn, sweetheart, you're the hot hand today. <laughs> <laughs> we should get four nice fillets from these guys and maybe while i'm not paying attention rodney holder will get me a bonefish <laughs> aren't much but they are nice thin white flaky fillets that'll taste great to get the skin off all of these juicy fillets. I'm playing with my sword, a sportsman knife, by the way. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll link it down in the description. There's a little line of bones in the middle of each one of these fillets. So I'm just gonna cut it out like that. Throw it in some seawater. And then we'll dry the fillets before we cook them.
now that the flays are ready, we're just gonna take some of this fishmonger seasoning and a little bit of olive oil and put it in this baggie. drop the fillets in there and mix them all around. One. Two, three. Four. That looks good. Now the fillets are all shaken up and coated with that seasoning. Let's get to cooking. All right, right here, we've got my portable little butane Coleman stovetop. Just push this button down here and turn it down and we've got heat frying pan. I'll put a little more olive oil. There we go. Now this should be good. You excited, baby? Yes. Yeah. Right. Hungry. <laughs> yeah, me too. And that other rod, blue rod, is still not helping me catch a bonefish or a permit. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I might be a little frustrated, but I'm still extremely happy that Karina at least got two bones and the permit because I'm going to learn a lot from that and uh, it's, it's pretty cool just to see him. So maybe we'll get lucky and still get one more before heading out of this spot and pro probably getting some mullet or little maharas and using them for snook bait before calling it a day. Oh, that looks delicioso, right? Yeah. Oh man, that smells so good. And there we have it. There's our lunch for today. <laughs> what do you do? With the bomb, delicious. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Let's have, let's have some lemonade and then we'll get back to it. Uh, let's see what the snap effect of the day is. Dragonflies have six legs, but cannot walk. Hmm. All right, so that was an amazing lunch, but unfortunately after that, I went and tried to catch some mullet and it took a lot longer than I hoped, but I did get some bait. But even still, after that, we bounced around to a couple different spots and fished hard and there was a lot of weeds everywhere we went. And I only ended up having this last decent bite along this seawall. But unfortunately the fish like wrapped me around something along the seawall and just like instantly oh my cut me off. Look at that. A nice fish destroying my mullet. And I think he got it. Oh so after that we just decided to pack it in. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and like always, live to fish, fish to live.